Today on Let's Play Cards, October card balances, card changes. We try to get Field Marshal with my German deck, my Blitzkrieg deck. And finally, opening of some packs. Coming up. Don't go anywhere. Greetings and welcome. I am Gamer Mingle and this is Cards, the World War II collectible card game by 1939 Games. Free to play. I'll have a link down in my um, description underneath the video. You can usually click on the arrow to open up the description area. I'll have a link to Cards, but it's free to play on Steam. And we'll be talking about the card changes in the month of October 2019. So let's jump right in and get cracking. I'm not going to talk a great deal about the bug fixes. Um, however, I will have a link available to this, uh, what can you call this, article, uh, news, uh, in the description area, uh, comments. I'll pin it in the comments if, if you want to have a read through, because I'm not going to read through everything. So yes, first card, the Russian. 42nd Rifles. This is a staple card. It's a 3 cost, 1 operation cost, 3-4 ambush keyword. At the end of your turn, fully repair this unit. So the devs, once again, if you want to read the thinking of the devs, you can, I'll have a, you know, click on the link and go read for yourself. I'm not going to read for everything, or you can just read it quickly as I talk about it. Um, as always, these are my personal uh, thoughts on the card changes. Um, you know, so yeah, just keep that in mind. So, this is a staple card for the Russians. It's it's actually a very powerful card, I feel. But it's been it's been changed to at the start of your turn, it fully repairs now. Not the end of your turn, at the start of your turn. So, if you attack with this unit, it's your opponent's turn. And then it's your turn, then it only heals. So you've basically got like a turn. This card is not going to heal. I'm very happy with this change and I feel it, it, it's more balanced now. This this was a very strong card before this change. So I am happy with that. Second card was is also a Russian card. It's also a three cost, one operation cost. It's a 3-4, 35th rifle regiment. Costs zero credits to deploy if a friendly unit was destroyed this turn. I like this card and I've played with it a bit in my Russian deck. Deploys for zero credits. Uh, the wording basically just changed. Only applies when... Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Alright, so for me personally this doesn't change a great deal the way I've played this card but it seemed that there was some sort of a weird meta um, where people managed to play this card for free if it was not in their deck. So, yeah, you know, don't know what else to say about that one. Third card is the Sendai Regiment. Four cost to play, one cost operation on the, on the table. It's a one free. It's got smoke screen. And then obviously the reason people use this card is to remove an enemy unit. And basically that unit is removed from your opponent from the table until you actually lose this uh, unit, infantry unit. So the devs, I guess people played this card and they would just leave it behind the smoke screen if your opponent didn't have a way of playing an order card on this unit on the table then it would just sit there for the uh, remainder of the match and you could actually remove very strong enemy units with this uh, card. So they actually changed that to, instead of a 1-3 it's a 2-3 so they are giving you a bit of an incentive to actually attack with this unit as well. We'll see how that goes. Next up is uh, Usage, and um, it's a zero cost, it's an order card for the American faction. Give a tank or an infantry unit plus one, plus two. Devs feel that they do want a zero cost order card in this game, but the, this game was, it, did, it ramped very in favor of somebody trying to go for an early game, be playing aggressive at zero cost in turn one, two, or three, you could almost win the game if your if your opening hand um, was in your favor so obviously this was a bit 
overpowered, so they just changed it to a 1-1. One, one. Just a slight little change there. I'm obviously happy with that as well, in favor of balancing the game. Next up is a, another American order card. They are definitely focusing on the order cards in the month of October. Uh, card changes, updates. Unity is strength. It's a one cost, used to be. Give a friendly infantry unit plus one, one for each friendly infantry unit on the battlefield. If played correctly, this is a very strong card. Once again, they just didn't want it to be too strong early game. And so for that reason, they changed it to a two cost to play now. Needless to say, I do agree with that change as well. I'm happy about that. Land of the Free. Target friendly unit has zero op operation cost. So obviously you can see a theme. Usage, unity and strength, land of the free. They all kind of, you can kind of build a nice little deck with infantry units with these three order cards. Um, I don't think this card, playing this game, I haven't gone up a lot. Of, I don't think I've ever seen this card being played honestly now that I kind of think back. So I personally, I'm thinking they are making this cheaper to try and get people to play with this card. This can actually work very nicely with a German deck because the German tanks has got very high operation costs. Hmm. Ideas. Light bulb moment. Okay. Burning Sun staple for Japanese aeroplane decks I've noticed recently. This card is a two cost. It used to be. It's an order. Burning Sun. Friendly air units have plus three attack until the end of the turn. Instead of a two, co a two cost credit cost to play, it's now three credit cost. I think that's a good change. Yep. Next up, I am very stoked. This card, the, the, the Germans actually got the short end of the stick. They've got nerfed left, right and center um, in September and prior. So, if you read for you, you'll also see the thinking behind the developers. I'm actually very glad that this has been reduced to a three credit cost. Was the four credit cost felt a bit, um, you know, a bit expensive for what it did, and and because of the sudden strike being nerfed, so that it can only take down two credit cost opponents. Uh, I I'm suffering with my German decks to be honest, the deck. So I'm glad about this. At least now I've got a bit more of incentive to keep tactical strike in my deck. Uh, it's a nice versatile card. Uh, it's two damage to a unit, and then obviously if he's got the unit in his support line, you get to deal four damage instead. You, you used to draw a, ca a card with this order card as well, so th this used to be like a very nice card. Uh, but I'm guessing it was a bit overpowered, so they did yeah they did nerf it. Overall, I'm happy about um, October's card changes. Um, there, there, there was some nice additions I've noticed, for instance if you highlight your opponent's cards at the top of the screen you can actually see how many, how many cards they have in hand. Now I used to always need to count them out because obviously once you've got 9 cards you can actually overdraw um, in Magic the Gathering they actually call that um, um, milling a deck. You can actually mill your opponent to let him overdraw so that that's still, you know, that can uh, you can still do that. Alright, so that is the card balance changes for the month of, of our, whoops, the month of October card balance changes. Sorry, I just got a WhatsApp message here and it kind of threw me off. I forgot to mute it on my PC, so you know, it's going to make its way into the video. <laughs> whoops. Okay, next up, let's, let's go open up some card packs. Before we open up card packs, if you are watching this more or, le more or less around um, the last quarter of the year 2019, it's currently the World Championship. If you have not seen this and you're watching my video for some reason and you haven't seen it on the cards Discord or on Steam, I'll have a link available as well down in the description area. If you want to follow the World Championship, they are currently now this is actually, I think you're going to watch this too late because I'll, it, this will probably only be, a, be available after the entry has closed. But yes, the entries are closing now if, if you still wanted to enter. So you can probably only follow it going forward. But yes, I'm not going to run through this. I'm not going to read it if you're interested. 
um, click down at the link in the description area uh, underneath the video you can just click on the little arrow and uh, you know um, show more of my description there will be a link to this uh, site where you can read up on the world championship if you do want to follow it okay let's open the packs Okay, I've been very busy this last quarter of the year. Unfortunately, I haven't been playing as much as I was hoping. So, only 11 packs today. So, this is going to go super quick. Super quick. Let's have a look. See here. And as always, you'll notice if I already do have a copy of a card, my resource will go up. Panther, nice card. This was one of the first cards I crafted with my resources when I started playing this game earlier in the year. Stuka, another bomber. Russian. Shiny. Limited. Oof, I love this. Flat cannons, 88s. Powerful. Uncle Sam, I'm still thinking of some sort of deck I want to build for that card. Nice artwork. Yes, I do. I do like the feel of this game, the theme. The artwork, it, the thematically, the cards, just this is right out of my alley. This is the card, the card game I've been looking for. Great deal of my matured life, loving the World War II theme, history, setting, and just being able to play this in card game form because I, I do enjoy my card games as well. Um, in real life, I do like playing tabletop card games as well and board games. So yep. If I do not have the time to play with friends or family, this, you know, you can always scratch that each with this sort of digital card games, it's much easier. You, know, you can even do it on a daily basis. Oh yeah! <laughs> Hype! Firefly! Nice. I did not expect that. So yes, more options is always good. Damage from the Firefly ignores heavy armor. Hmm. Interesting. I am definitely feeling a USA German deck coming up. Stay tuned. And it's gonna be tanks. I love tanks. Stuka. Even, even uh, more of an incentive to go with that route. Last pack, flak. Uh, to be hundred percent honest, I'm not so fond of this artwork. Uh, they, 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 I feel they, they, they can be something nicer, but it's, it's just, it's still good, it's still good. Great. So that's it. It's gonna be uh, fast and furious today, going through these topics. So what we'll do is we'll play a matchup next and we'll jump into my current Panzer deck, my Blitzkrieg deck that I've managed to get Field Marshal rank with for the last, um, since I started playing this game, all of the seasons I've played this game I've managed to do that. Let's do that. Alrighty, let's have a look before I jump into the match. Profile. I'm one away from getting into Field Marshal with German faction. And then what I wanted to show was, where is it? Here, oh, the World Championship. So it's easy as that. You can just go into your cards game. You can you can see, you know, I'm, this is old news, but if for some reason you haven't played cards and you do want to watch the uh, World Championship, there is the various ways of tracking, following said. 
World Championship. Just notice this kind of sucks. This is the line that the people actually do not go through to stage 3. And all of them has got 91 score. I don't know what that was. Honestly, I didn't read it. But yes, I'm not going to read it if, if you are interested. Log into cards and have a look and you just click on one of those, Discord, Twitter, uh, Steam or Facebook. Okay, let's jump into the battle and let's see if I can get that Field Marshal. Oh boy, I don't know who I'm going up against. It's not looking good. Yeah, they're going to be very aggressive. This is probably not going to be ideal. Okay, let's greet the man. Hello. Let me win, please. <laughs> Sometimes you get into a position where you... That's, that, that annoys me. Well, this, it does say another unit. Okay. So dealing damage is not what procs it, makes it work. You have to deal damage with another unit. It's, this can actually be a crippling card early game. I hope it's going to play in my favor. Something hopefully like a three cost. Yep, three cost. Sometimes I get into the situation where you're like one star away from getting field marshal, and then you have to, like, um, let's get into this. What I was saying is there are then then you end up losing three games and then you end up winning three games and you like one star away again and you just lose that one game again. It can get quite annoying if that happens. Okay. Do we wanna Blade of the Sumurai? Three, four, five, six, seven, that's not gonna work. This is gonna work. Let's let's just deal damage. I could have actually drawn a card prior. Ah, oh, well, let's do it now then. Yeah, that's awesome. If he doesn't have any... I can play this on 11 credit slots, deal 8 damage. I just need to deal 2 more damage to his HQ, then I should be able to finish with this. Um, mm. That was interesting. I can actually send him back. Let's... let's Let's apply pressure. And then I'm in kill range. Fatal range. What's that saying? Five damage. Good play. Three, four. And where is my uh, Blitzkrieg when I need them? That's that. That's that. Done it. No more pressure on me, folks. Um, I think I'm going to retire this deck. I've got in field marshal this deck since I started playing the this game back when was it? March, I believe. But it wasn't even available on Steam yet. And this and well, since I started season one, I got field marshal with this deck. All of that being said, so I'm going to share the card list in my description area. So once again, if you look at the YouTube video and you click on the show more option, the little down arrow where the name of the video is, you'll see my deck list will be listed over there. And 
this deck has been nerfed. <laughs> That's why I'm so glad I got Field Marshal again, but I'm not going to put this pressure on myself anymore to get Field Marshal this deck anymore. I'm going to change it. And as stated earlier in this video, I'm thinking yeah, I'm thinking American um, German deck. I'm, I'm over playing thematic decks. I mean, let's build a nice strong deck. So basically just let's have a look what according to my knowledge now what has changed the, this card it's so strong this is like like bread and butter for this deck imperial order very nice card falsham jaegers are nice as you could have just saw in this match that i just finished these two they the the hand shell they do very well as well in this deck this card has been changed it used to take out three cards three three credit cost uh, opponent cards it sucks i hate it this uh, and i'm being biased i mean obviously i love the german deck it's my faction uh, my primary faction so but yeah i'm i'm very sour about this change uh, i i feel it i definitely feel it this deck used to do so well for me my uh, win loss ratios was very high and i could get field marshal quickly now because of this change it's well for the sake of keeping the game fun and fair for the for for the bigger audience i'm i i, I accept that i mean what can i do i can whine and <laughs> cry about it but it's not going to change anything but i i understand why uh, from the deep i love it it hasn't been changed uh, recently according to my knowledge or since i started playing so i love this card as you saw in the video just passed this played into my favor as well panzer 3 I, I like it i like the theme of it uh, it's not a game changer card for me it's just something nice little fluff a little something extra to have fun with this is my only card draw because of the nerfs on the cards in the last three months or so th this is actually i might even need to add more uh, I need card draw. Uh, at this stage, if I play my games and thinking back, I don't often run out of cards, but still, um, you do need card draws. Playing the Stug with Blitzkrieg, it's it, it's fatal. I mean, if you can get this this card into the front line and play one or two of these Blitzkriegs, I mean, what what is the what's the cost? Say you can get this into the front line on turn, say for instance, turn five. Turn six, you play one of these cards. It's a three cost, and then you play the stug twice. So playing the Blitzkrieg makes the stug one cheaper. So it's three, four, five. Then you've got one credit left. Um, so let's do the math. So that's six plus six. It's twelve damage. I mean, that's a lot of damage if you can pull it off by turn five and six. Um, I love it. I've done this combo a few times, three times or so. It was very fun. Um, usually what I end up doing is I just have a lot of units in the front line and I just play one or two Blitzkriegs and um, then I do a whole bunch of damage. So what I'm thinking is the American deck along with Blitzkrieg, um, the American deck's got Land of the Free where you can play a unit for, for zero cost, operation cost. So I can definitely put in two uh, Tiger Tanks into this deck and have like a, and I, I just got the Firefly, so that's also awesome, so I can, I'm, I'm going to have fun, I'm going to craft a nice fun deck um, next month, it's going to, it's probably, I've, it, well, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll do a double challenge next month, I'll get my Japanese uh, deck into the Field Marshal uh, rank, uh, that will be my challenge for next month and then i'll make a second fun deck which is going to be the german american deck and we can have a look at that if you would be so kind as to uh, follow me um yes yeah, so the the shiden i love it and then obviously as i said i want to play with two tigers but yeah this is this was changed we were talking about which cards was was changed this used to destroy two cost or lower they they took that second uh, ability out of it it just makes cards retreat now so i'm also not happy about that this used to be like such a strong card but obviously for the sake of keeping the game balanced i do understand and then um the the firefly um where am i okay i mustn't i'm just going to my collection fire 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 there we go yeah awesome we'll do that 
As always, thank you for watching. You have yourselves a wonderful day. Lekker dag en bye bye.